tucked out of sight on a clearing in Canberra, a small telescope with a big job. It keeps watch for space threats. It's important to keep an eye upwards. There are all sorts of space threats that we can encounter. This is the sort we see in the movies. But Ed Cruzens is a real-life asteroid spotter, and so is David Coward from Western Australia. Australia's position is important for anything to do with surveillance. Without Australia, there are blind spots for monitoring space. Their work is about to become even more important. They're on a NASA-led team called the International Asteroid Warning Network, which tracks near-Earth objects in space and alerts the United Nations of any potentially serious dangers. The group recently raised the alarm over a newly detected asteroid named 2024 YR4. It's about the size of a jumbo jet, probably weighs uh, several hundred thousand tonnes. This week, NASA found it had a record high 3.1% chance of hitting Earth in 2032, most likely between Africa and India. While the risk of impact is low, the consequences could be high. This is classified as a city destroyer, which means that it would destroy um, any large city on Earth. It might be equivalent to something like about six to seven megatons of TNT going off in the atmosphere above a city. In 2013, a much smaller asteroid, around 20 metres wide, caused this explosion in Russia. A blinding flash of light, and then all hell broke loose. This newly detected asteroid was first spotted in December last year, before quickly vanishing from sight. It's now about 48 million kilometres away, on its way to orbit the Sun. But in 2028, it will head back towards Earth and may briefly be visible with ground-based telescopes once more. If it still appears to be at risk of hitting the Earth, there are steps that can be taken to avoid a collision. Looks to me like we're headed straight in. In 2022, NASA proved that could be done when it intentionally crashed a spacecraft into an asteroid to change its path. And we have an impact. This is not science fiction anymore. We have the ability to protect the Earth. Just don't expect it to look like this. Fiona Willen, ABC News, Sydney.